Welcome back, entering mathematics, Tivet College exam preparations. So today um, we'll be doing question two. So you simplify the following expression. Okay, so this is the expression that we want to simplify for three marks. Okay, so here you can come and see you have got um, you have got, um, yeah, so this is the expressions. So you can just simply come and see, um, here you've got negative exponents. So you have to write it, this expression as a positive exponent. So it will be one over one over, so remind you, remind you, this is the long division. And then here you have a small division for this particular expression. So it will be X plus Y, so that it will be positive, right? And then minus, so here, because this is squared, so you will have one, two, one, two this side, okay? So which is equivalent to one over X, one over two, yes, minus Y, one over two, then X, one over two, minus again, y one over two, right? Okay, so since here we've got the long division, so here is like, it's like um, the rule that I use to remind you about the rule, the rule that I use here, I use the rule which says that if you've got a to the power of negative one, this should be equal to one over a, you remember the rules of exponent. That's what I basically did here on the denominator. So because since this is a long division, I can I can come and say I've got one divided by so that we can follow one over x plus y. I wanted to to make sure that you follow minus. So here you do that thing. This term with with the first one and then also with the second one and then this one with the, this and then also with that other one so you will end up having uh for us to to make sure that we don't make a mistake let's let's open a, a square bracket here because negative is a very dangerous sign okay so this x half followed by x half it will give us x and then x half followed by negative y half, it will give us negative x half, y half, isn't it? And then y half, negative y half, multiplied by x half, it will give us negative, negative x half, y half, right? Negative and negative, negative half, negative half, it will give us positive, positive, positive y, right? Are we together? So now, and then you close here. So here, this this is why I, 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 I put this in this fashion. I wanted it to be one. So I told you that when it, we have got divide, so the denominator becomes the numerator, you remember, from N2. So now it will be, y multiplied by x plus plus y. Sorry about that. Um, let me erase properly. Yes, um, I was saying that um, it will be um, x plus one over, sorry about that, um, I'm having a problem. Yes, I was still saying that um, the denominator will become the numerator. So it will be x plus y all over by one, right? And then it will be minus. So we can still write x here. So here negative and negative, it will give us negative two, right? X, x of half, y of half right plus plus y so when we by everything here i'll be i'll be left with x plus y 
minus, so we can remove the bracket now. So when we remove the bracket, it will be negative x. Negative and negative is, uh, should be positive. Positive two x half y half. Negative and positive should be negative, right? Negative y here. Okay, so of course I don't know if I don't know if I'm no longer having the the brackets um, that side. Okay, so what are the like terms now? The like terms I've got x and x will go. Okay, and my y and my y will go. So meaning that um, I'll be left with um, two x half and my y. Half. Right? So this you can say I've got two into x, x, y. Since they're sharing the same exponent, you can come and put half outside. Right? Okay, let's do the next question. Okay, so here it says solve for x using without uh, using a calculator. So here we've got log of a x blah blah by log of three base three a is plus of four. So here we 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 seem to have got logs of three. We 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 here we got the base of three, meaning that we can come and change the base here. So the rule that we use for change of a base on this expression here, on this expression here, you, you can use this rule, you know, I can put it this side to say, it says, um, if you've got log of base A of what? Of B, this should be equal to log, log of C, we change the base, log of C of, of B. This is the rule is there at the back of your question paper. All over by log of C of, of A, right? So we changed the base from A to C to C. And then now this, this number here, B, it will come also here. And I know the base will come here, right? You, you, you get it. Yeah, so now, if it's like this, we have to change this number here, it will be um, log of, log of, we're changing it to the log base of three, right? So it will be log of three of what? Of X, right? All over by log of, log of three of what? The very same base, the base was A. So you put of A here, right? This is simple, you know, multiply by log of three of A is equals to four, right? Yeah, you just apply the rule here. So now here you'll notice that this log of three, that the reason why we're changing everything to the same, to the same, base so that everything can can cancel out right so this and this will cancel out and then we'll be left with um log of base three of x is equals to four right so when you've got this base here now the base it will it will mean that you have to solve for this x so your x your x will be equal to the base which is three to the power of four and then three to the power of four it gives you um, three multiplied by three multiplied by three multiplied by three which is um 81 right okay let's go to the last question okay so here we have this expression i copied it this side so six over root of three x minus one minus one is plus to root of three x minus one so you you note that here if you come and square both sides you know, you can also do it, but another way to do it is to come here to say, um, we use the K rule. We use the K rule. So this K rule, um, you let 
let k is equals to you know root of 3x minus 1. So by doing so, this will simplify our life. Okay, and then now we will have 6 over k minus 1, right? All over by is equals to k. So LCD is k. You come and multiply both sides by, by k. And then also here by what? By k. And also here by k. So you will end up k and k will cancel out. So this side I will be left with 6 minus k is equals to k squared. So you take everything to the other side. So I will, I will have k squared plus this k will go to the other side. It will be k, it will be positive k minus 6 is equals to 0, right? And then now we factorize this expression, okay? Which is equals to 0. So I will have my k here, and then I'll also have my k this side. So factors of 6, they are 3 and, and 2, right? So here I will have my plus and my negative. Are we together? And then you can also check the sign here, right? So be careful of your, of your, of your, of your sign here. So at the end of the day, you have k plus 3 is equals to 0. My k is equals to negative 3. Or my k minus 2 is equals to 0. And then my k will end up equal to, to 2. So what is k? You know, we have let on the other side. So we will note that my k is equals to my k here from here, k is equals to negative three. I will have k, I said is equals to root of, I will have the root of three x minus one is equals to negative three, right? So from here, is then that we can come and square both sides. You know, if we escape both sides, it means it means that we're killing the square root this side. We're removing the square root, right? So you'll be left with um, 3x minus 1 is equals to negative 3 squared is uh, should be 9. Okay, and then you'll be left with 3x is equals to 9 plus 1 is 10. Ah, yes, and then you divide both sides by 3. And then you'll be left with x is equals to 10 over 3. 10 over 3, right? And then on the other side, we have got square root of here now. So we're done with this one. So here you will come and say um, root of 3x minus 1 is equal to 2, is equal to 2, right? So you do the same. You kill a square root by squaring both sides. So you will be 3x minus 1. You'll have 3x minus 1, which is equal to 4, right? So my 3x is equal to 4 plus 1, which is 5. And then you divide both sides by 3. You divide both sides by 3. And now you'll note that your x is also 5 out of or 5 out of 3, right? So we're not yet done. So we have to prove here which answer is correct between the two, right? Because we're just solving, we're just solving for x meaning that we should, we, should, we should get one value of x. Is, does it make sense? And then here we've got two values of x. So for us to, to, to test, okay, let's test, right? So what happens when you come here and put, um, and put 10 over three, it will, it will be six all over by, um, Root of um, root of three multiplied by ten over three minus one, right? Minus one, which is equals to root of um, which we should give you three multiplied by ten over three. You're putting this in a calculator minus one, so you'll note that this will give you one is equals to three. Right, so this is wrong. 
one will never be equal to three. So it means that this answer is, is wrong. And then let's choose this other one for five over three. So for five over three, it will mean that you will have six all over by a root of three multiplied by five over three, right? Minus one, minus one, which is equals to root of three multiplied by five over three minus one, right? So this here, it will give you two is equals to two, right? Two is equals to two, meaning five over three is the answer. So therefore, your x will be equal to five over three, right? And then x will never be equal to 10 over three, right? Okay, subscribe, like, and share. We'll continue.